my audience of bugs is prepared. The waveform mixer section combines the output of several distinct audio sources. Four sliders set the output level of the sine wave, saw wave, pulse wave, and fold wave. The harmonic sine button adds even harmonics to the sine output through a subtle wave shaping by enabling a half wave rectifier circuit. Because the harmonic sine is asymmetric, it adds even harmonics. This gives the filter something to act upon, which it wouldn't be able to do to a simple sine wave. The noise level trim pot adjusts the output level of the analog noise circuit. The external gain trim pot and external level trim pot work together to control a preamp for processing external or internal signals. The external gain control offers up to 30 times gain with an integrated soft clipping overdrive. The preamp is perfect for processing external signals or overdriving internal waveforms. You can create a feedback path through the microvolt by using the preamp. Uh, that means that you're able to generate chaotic behaviors that are less predictable and more like the behavior of natural things. Patching into any of the individual waveform, noise, or preamp output jacks will remove them from the output of the mixer. Patching from a waveform output jack into the preamp allows the preamp to act as an overdrive for the waveform. The output of the waveform mixer section is internally patched to the input of the binary filter section. That's what we'll be taking a look at in the next video. Until then, try patching different waveforms into the preamp and experimenting with different levels of overdrive.